Recently, GoChilla has reached out to us regarding their GoChilla Premix water cooling solution. And due to the fact that we just built the Aqua Cube, I thought this is the perfect opportunity to see if this graphene and unicorn dust powered cooling liquid will really improve the temps in here. Okay, so this is that Go Chiller Premix, and Go Chiller offers it in uh, in two different ways. We have the the Premix solution that I have here, or you can get the concentrate where you mix like 250 milliliters of concentrate with 750 milliliters of water, and you basically get one liter of of Premix. Uh, fun fact: it costs exactly the same, no matter which one you get. This will probably just be more to ship. Anyway, the special thing about this is their secret sauce. And of course, they do not explain exactly what it is. They just state that they used a ton of graphene in there. And graphene is like that magical solution for everything. I, I've read about graphene many years ago on some random forum, and it was praised to be this all around a solution for everything. CPUs will be made out of graphene, lights will be made out of graphene, batteries will be made out of graphene. It's perfect for everything. And the thing about graphene is that it is highly heat conductive. They claim it to be 10,000 more heat conductive. Now, I cannot comment on, on graphene as a material. I'm not mad enough to take a piece of tape and glue it on graphite over and over again until I have graphene. But it is a promising material, it is all over the place, and they made water cooling liquid with it. Now, I have a bit of an issue with the whole approach, how, how this was tested before. I've seen the, the LTT video about it, and there was one comment that spiked my interest. It was something along the lines of this being extremely useful in operations where there is really a lot of heat, and not as much cooling, like a single fan radiator and only one fan, like like very concentrated setup. In the LTT video, they had a big as red. Of course, right, they had a lot of heat, that's true, but they had a big as red. And now right here, I have a really small red. So this is the aqua cube that we just made. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, so this is the aqua cube that we just uh, it's a 5600X using one of those Alpha Cool uh, Ice Bear block. I don't remember pump and uh, and block and reservoir combos. We have one 120 millimeter very thin red using a Noctia NFA12X25 and a water cooled 3060 and a water cooled 3060Ti uh, using a Bixby block. This works that's the first point it works but it is really really hot we have a single red on here and i pre-filled this whole thing with some alpha cool ice wasser crystal clear and i will use this for a baseline for the rest of the video now i have another issue about um how things like water cooling equipment is tested the truth is um if you take for example fan reviews and you have fan benchmarks you take a very good one you can compare it against a whole range of fans where you have a bunch of really bad one you know the chinese aliexpress stuff so you get a lot of differences you know that an a12x25 is a really good fan the problem with water cooling solutions is that if you are at the point where you need uh, water cooling uh, liquid, you won't go for the cheap one. I mean, if, if you have a, a water block, red pump, and, 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 you are speaking about a couple of hundreds of bucks. So why the hell would you save another 10 and not go for a good liquid? And that's the issue because I don't believe that there are many people out there going for uh, cheap liquids or even uh, that there are any any real companies producing or mass producing like two euro liquids I, I think the general public uses this which is why I think the difference between uh, a, a very good water cooling liquid and an average one I'm, I'm not saying it is average it's just as an example I, I think the difference is way smaller than if you take for example fans or uh, I don't know uh, Coolers, CPU coolers, you have the very, very big good ones and you have the very small bad ones. On their website, Gochilla claims to have a difference of about 6 degrees C. In the LTT video, they had a bit less, if I remember correctly. But again, I 
in both cases they used really big radiators and the whole setup right here is so small that it is in fact possible that the difference here will be pretty huge I, or at least I hope. Beforehand I did a bit of thermal testing, I hit the CPU with CPU-Z, the, the stress test and some Furmark 1080p 8xMAA and we had the CPU sitting at 88 degrees C and the GPU at 70. So this is indeed very very hot, that's true, but again I am doing way too much here for single, single radiator, this is overkill, but it works, it works fine. During gaming it is even cooler. That, that's the alpha cool ice water base. Now let's see if this can improve any of that. And for this we will use my good old friend random box. So now I want to replace the, the alpha cool liquid in here and of course now it's time to uh, get that alpha cool stuff out which is usually an, an issue because I never put any volt in there. Um, but not everything is bad because the GPU is positioned very good in here. We have the tubes um, that are connected going out on this way, but I also have holes on the other part, which basically means if I open them up and I just uh, hold it like this, it will essentially just, everything will just float out. I prepared myself this here, which I will just uh, screw into the other uh, hole on the GPU and, and start blowing in so that I can drain the whole loop without waiting for 10 hours for it to drain naturally. The only issue that we will have is that I need to open... Oh my god! It stays by itself! Okay, this will be easier than I thought. Yeah, I should have measured uh, the amount of liquid I put in there beforehand because I have this now and I'm like unsure if this is all Plus it's not it's a bit greasy Oh, and there are things floating in there oh. Okay, everything is Empty I guess I left the two pores open. That's uh, for a good reason because I will fill it that way It's uh, I, I will show it in a minute. It's, it's really cool way to fill it uh, But yeah, let's stop. Oh damn This not only does this give me like a um, a feeling of I'm about to change the oil in my car, but it also it also smells. Oh fuck! Now it films. Yeah, that wasn't my brightest idea. It has an oily smell to it. It's not oil, of course it's not, but it, 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 I don't know. Maybe it's because it's black and it gives me the the perception. I don't know. But let's. Oh yeah, this is going to be messy. It's pitch black, and I mean pitch black. So when I initially filled the loop using that alpha cool liquid, I uh, started off by filling it into the fill port of the water block of that alpha cool iceberg thingy. And fact is, it just didn't work as well as this. Um, the GPU now being at the very top position of the whole loop, it, it becomes so easy to just fill it from here. It's uh, it's ridiculous how easy this is. Uh, and from here, I have both cables dangling here so I can cycle the pump through and through and it just works. The alpha cool block is is so pitch black that I was I, I was unsure if it is empty or if it is full. And uh, it is full and it looks amazing until now. Um, I remember correctly that I need to close one because if I don't stuff will just uh, spill it will it will shoot up like that. So I, I need to close one hole. And the other one I can leave open during the whole cycle process. Uh, the pump is running, uh, there is enough liquid for it to uh, do the whole loop, no problem. Now I will just uh, try to get the bubbles out of it, but that shouldn't be that much of an issue. This looks so freaking cool. <laughs> So yeah, there are a couple of bubbles left in there, but I guess they will go out over the next few hours. Now, before I even test this, it, this looks freaking amazing. I thought having black liquid on an acrylic block would look stupid, but I, I was really wrong. This looks really, really freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, let's put the, the stuff back together. Okay, so we did the whole benchmark section, but beforehand this looks freaking amazing 
I never had black liquid before, I said it already, but it's not even like black black, it has slight of a, a grey tone to it and I don't know, inside that Bixky water block it does look freaking amazing. There is a section on the on their website to that claims that they have like an anti-foam thingy going on inside the liquid and when I shake the liquid I had a lot of foam at the top. Uh, that was a pretty big mistake but as soon as I, I poured it the foam disappeared really quickly. It's, it's not as foamy as for example uh, Alpha Cool's blue, I don't remember the name, uh, I, I will show it on the screen, that Alpha Cool's blue, blue, that was foamy as, as hell. This was alright. Um, now on the viscosity, yeah, I, I have no way of measuring that. Sorry. Okay, so let's let's get to the benchmark. So the premise of um, of this liquid here is that it is it is supposed to be capable of uh, cooling your PC further down compared to other uh, alternative solutions. Now the issue, as I said in the beginning, with all of this is that you are never comparing this to like a generic water cooling liquid. There is no generic water cooling liquid. Water cooling in general is like a really high end uh, high end thing. So everybody who is going into it is buying really high end things. It's it's like a GPU water blocks. There is no like really cheap 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 water block. They are always pretty good. And for example, Bixky stuff, which is less um, less expensive than, for example, Alpha Pool stuff. Bixky is still a very good company, and the quality of the water block is still very good because it is a high end device. And the same applies, in my opinion, to this Go Chiller Mix. It is high end, so it is really hard to compare to to basically anything and and say that this is significantly better because there is no standard. That being said, the idea for me to benchmark this liquid was that in, in, um, for the benchmark that, that uh, Gochilla showed on the website and the one that LTT did, they use big as radiators. Here we have a small radiator, so I expected the results to be significantly bigger. Now I have the results, so I know what happens. Uh, doing the same thing, CPU-Z uh, stress test and Fermark 1080p 8x MSAA, we got 86 degrees C on the CPU and 66 degrees C on the GPU. This means that the CPU dropped down 2 degrees and the GPU dropped down 4 degrees. Now that's not 6 degrees, that's... it's really not 6 degrees. But I have a temperature controlled room, the temperature is exactly the same. So I know that exchanging um, this for this dropped my CPU temps 2 degrees C. And I do believe that that's a substantial difference. Take uh, my CPU uh, cooler benchmarks for an example. 2 degrees C is a big difference. And the same applies here. I mean, this is not significantly more expensive than the other one, but it is 2 degrees C cooler or 4 degrees C on the GPU. So yeah, I, I guess the results will very much depend on, uh, on how you will apply it. 6 degrees, I did not managed to achieve 6 degrees C difference, but I have 2 degrees and I do believe that 2 degrees is more than enough to uh, justify getting a liquid like this. In the end, Godzilla made a promising product and they did not maybe deliver as much as, as they advertised it for, but they delivered. 2 degrees C is more than enough uh, to say it works. Uh, using graphene and uh, unicorn dust powder does make your CPU run cooler. On the other side, we also have the, the nice little side effect that it is almost pitch black, a bit grey, but it looks amazing. Inside the, the GPU in, in the loop, it really does look amazing. So yeah, this was my take on uh, Gochilla's Premix 1 liter bottle, which looks like uh, the oil I put in my car. At this point, thank you to Gochilla for reaching out to us. We really like the liquid and we will keep using it. We have a second bottle and I have another product in mind, so we will reuse it in the future. So yeah, thank you for watching and if you want to keep watching, I don't know if you have watched the building videos for this little puppy here, but uh, there is part one and part two. And now with the uh, liquid in there, it is time for part three. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.